Welcome to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster with John Kramer. I feel sometimes, I guess, when we're talking that it it gets uh, so in some ways, I guess you could say challenging that it almost overwhelms listening to you talk about it. I don't know if that makes sense or not. But I, I, I can see the thoughts that you're expressing are in some ways very challenging to those of us who love sticky thoughts or are at least caught up in them. Yeah, I can totally get what you say. So none of it, what I'm saying does make any sense. <laughs> That's it. I knew it. <laughs> And it is only through your own experience that you can find this out. So understanding it is not going to make any difference and, and will not give um, a sense of, of freedom or, or freedom to be. The freedom is not found in the thinking. Um, it's, it's found out in the discovery of what is true in your life like to discover what is true and what is not true it seems like for you a lot of that process happened as you wrote every morning in your diary as you recorded simply what you were observing happening that is so accurate it is it is a diary where where it's just unfolding it it is it is um an investigation in my own unfolding of what i what's happening in my life and 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 how i can you know, I can go about that in such a way that um, that I have more clarity. And and um, what what is actually true? <laughs> well, it seemed like in reading some of your diaries that it was sort of like a process of watching, I guess you could say, or observing the thoughts that were arising and just allowing them to arise and out of that came discovery. That is absolutely true. Yes, exactly. So true discovery can only happen when you, when first I allow for, for what is there. So, so what you said that is actually very, very interesting is that, um, that I, that I took it upon myself as an experiment to actually see what is there in my consciousness. And from, from, from my perspective, I can say that I took the courageous step to allow for the totality of it and then see what is unfolding what is happening uh, where that leads me to and um, that also gives or gave me the opportunity to see it exactly for what it is and what i noticed was to my own surprise that the seeing of it exactly as it is actually 
made an enormous difference that in seeing it for what it is exactly that that is where is part of the solution to what I might have perceived as a problem. In some ways, I sort of think of it as an athlete uh, who's well trained. They uh, yes. they they no longer think about each step of the swing of the bat. Let's say in baseball, or uh -huh. or every little step in trying to catch a football because the minute you think about every step, you're going to trip. But if you just get into the totality of that experience, you make a good catch or you hit the baseball or whatever happens. But if you try to think like, if you ask one of them, well, how do you swing that bat so accurately? You're going to ruin their swing. <laughs> If they have exactly. to think about yeah. every little step yeah. of it, um, because they've they've left go of all those thoughts, and all they're doing now is acting on the experience that they have of who they are and how they swing. I'm not too sure whether they act on their experience. I think they are in the game. Right. They are the game. Right. I think that's a good way to, to say it. I know when, when I play different sports, when I think about it too hard, my play deteriorates. But when I just play the game, I do much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how to play the game of life <laughs> is, is to be, is to be, uh, well, to be yourself. And the best way to be yourself is to allow for the totality of what arises. Yep, ongoingly. <laughs> so you have to be courageous at every minute. For oh, all well, that. <laughs> so some thoughts are easier to deal with than others, but. Um, but 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 this is just the nature of it they come out of nowhere like like a particular when i think uh that i'm having a great time that that things are going fantastic that's when when something comes up that uh, that obviously what i need to deal with so it's not about comfort <laughs> like having a great life is not about comfort but it is the the ability the skill to to be with whatever is there and 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 then in such a way that then i return to my true self so to speak and the thing that allows you to return to that true self is just be allowing for the totality of what arises. Yes, and then in doing so, I get to see where I'm stuck, where I'm attached, where I want it to be different. That that gives me this, this sense of self, the personal self, which is not which only exists in the thinking 
and so um, by 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 seeing things as they are, what appeared as real disappears. Thank you for listening to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster. For more information, check out louiscoster.com forward slash Talking Diaries and subscribe to the Talking Diaries YouTube channel. Also check out louiscoster.com forward slash quiz and take the free quiz to discover more about yourself.